When we talk about packaging, one of the things that we're going to do is not only cut cardboard, but we will also crease cardboard. And uh, during the webinar, uh, I'm I like to focus on the new uh, creasing wheel. So if you look here, this is the new creasing wheel that we launched uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, it actually has a larger wheel. Hmm. What's the benefit of having a larger wheel? Well, first of all, uh, having a larger wheel will allow you to crease a lot faster because having the larger wheel will reduce the friction on your material. Otherwise, with a smaller wheel, you will have a lot more pressure in, in a very small area where this is being flattened out over the complete uh, width of the wheel. Um, it has a very thin, um, let's say, uh, piece in the middle and this is actually going to make our crease. The rest is just supporting the wheel. Now, because this is a, a lot larger wheel, we can't fit it immediately in the, in the module. So what we are going to do is we have a screw here that we can loosen. And then you have two parts. You have the bottom part and then you have the shaft. The shaft, of course, goes into the module. Hmm. Let me just position this here and tighten it. So tightening the uh, tool is the same like the other tools. Once it's tightened, you have your bottom part, your wheel, that you can insert underneath, and then you can tighten it using the top screw here. So once it's in here, I can say in my software, go online, and then you will notice that all the tools are being rotated. While they're rotating, we are reading the barcode, which is, let's say, printed on the, uh, the shaft. This barcode will indicate to the machine and to the software um, what kind of tool is installed on the unit. So in terms of making a mistake, in terms of putting in the wrong tool, this is no longer the, the case because the modules and the machine and the software will know what kind of tool you've installed. So if you're installing a let's say a cutout knife instead of a creasing wheel and you request a creasing wheel in your file, the machine will say, hey, I will not start to cut this or crease this because there is no wheel included. So let me just press online here and you'll notice a couple of things. Because we have a left ADC, uh, you will see that the first module that we will uh, set the knife depth to is the left one. So this one goes all the way to the left it goes down, measures the tip of the knife, and it will know how deep it needs to cut. Mm. Additionally, what we can do is press the ADC button to, let's say, measure the, uh, the um, knife param parameters, the origin, the lat, and the long, uh, which we're going to do on the first module as well. This just takes a couple of seconds, but this will give us a nice... Um, let's say, starting position to get the best quality. Uh, we haven't shown this in the previous webinars, so I'm going to show this now. I'm just waiting until it's measuring the EOT, because the EOT, the first time it goes down, it's actually inactive. Once it knows that position, it will activate the EOT. It will start to oscillate, and then we will Remeasurement. This is to give us the best, let's say, the best measurement to determine the knife depth. So, if we go back to our uh, to our software here, mm, I can simply click on my tool here. As you can see, it's a heavy-duty cutout tool, and there is a button here on the bottom right. When I press this, the tool will start to measure on the left ADC. Uh, it will do a couple of. Uh, movements. These movements are there to measure the size, geometry and make of the knife itself. Mm -hmm. So this will take a couple of seconds. Once that is done, we can then start to continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are just in the last test. Just imagine doing this with material uh, going through several tests 
and choosing the best values here everything is done for you so basically basically when you load up a new knife this is the first thing you're going to do it's going to set your knife depth and then you're going to measure measure your knife geometry